Hello everyone, my name is Maria Vallejo Najera. I'm a Spanish, I'm from Spain, and I'm an author. I write novels. Um, I want to tell you this little story of mine. My life changed completely when I went for the first time to a little village called Medjugorje in the heart of Bosnia Herzegovina in 99. I was living in London there and I had already my three babies. I've been married now for 20 years. Uh, when I was living in London, I met many Anglican friends. I was a Catholic. I had been raised as a Catholic in a Catholic country like Spain. My parents were Catholics and I attended Catholic schools. Nevertheless, I didn't realize that um, what God was. I didn't have faith. I didn't want to talk about God. I was not interested at all in the church or in, or in God. But these two friends of mine, they were Anglicans, as I told you before, and they were telling me many things about this little village. In the beginning, I was very critical and very ironic with them. I didn't believe them, and I thought they were completely crazy. Um, but in 99, they were so stubborn, they were really trying to convince me to go with them, and I cannot explain how or why I said, yes, this time I'm coming with you. Uh, we went to Medjugorje on the 9th of May of 99. My first day in Medjugorje was really boring for me. I didn't understand a word about what, uh, what was going on. I didn't believe that Our Lady was appearing to the six uh, children or young, young youngsters. And um, I was uh, being really rude in the Mass. I went to Mass in the morning, it was the English Mass, and I remember I was taking photographs of the whole place. I didn't uh, listen to the priest talking or the celebration. But that first morning, a big change was preparing, God, was God preparing for me. I came out of the church because behind the church, this big room where the visionaries were going to give a talk. That precise day, it was Jacob, the young man, who was going to talk to the pilgrims. While I was walking uh, down towards this, this big room, uh, I remember the day was very bright. It was a beautiful May day with no clouds, the sun was shining, and we were walking very close close to the confessionary boxes and also on my right was the wall, the external wall of the church of St. James. I was surrounded by my friends and I was making joke, joke, jokes with them. Uh, out of the blue, suddenly I felt this urge to look upwards to the, to the, to the, to the sky to, and suddenly um, I felt like a pang of love coming very, very uh, straight to my heart, very, in a very strong way. Um, in my watch, oh, it don't, this experience only lasted three seconds, but um, it was very, very powerful. In that precise moment, I felt that God was talking to me. He was uh, telling me, this is how much I love each and every one of you all around the world. I felt also a pang of fear and a pang of, of, of pain, because in that precise second, I understood that I had been really bad towards my parents, towards my faith and towards God. I really felt I wanted to cry. I really wanted to hide from myself. But God kept on talking to me and he said, this is how much I love you. Please tell the world that there is a, there is a God and this God loves everyone. Uh, as I told you before, only three uh, second lap laps in this experience. So after those three seconds, I didn't know what to do. I was a very confused uh, young woman at that time and I didn't dare to tell anyone. Uh, when I reached the, the, the room where Jacob was giving this lecture, um, I started to cry really, really um, with pain in my heart. Everybody thought that I had been touched by Jacob's uh, testimony, but it was not true. I was touched because I had that little experience some minutes ago. Uh, it took me six months back in London to tell this story to my spiritual advisor, who was the Irish priest, Father Michael O'Malley, who came with us in that first pilgrimage in 99. And he didn't thought I was crazy. He just told me, well, you're another convert, another pilgrim who has a conversion in Medjugorje. You must understand that Medjugorje is the lung of the world of, for conversions. Uh, what happened just after that conversion of mine was very beautiful. 
out of the blue I felt this urge to go every day to Mass. The Mass suddenly transformed my life and I was very, very attracted to it. It was like a magnet. Uh, before the Mass I, I thought it was a boring thing to, to, to see or to hear a priest talking. But after that visit to Medjugorje I didn't know why. I, I really needed to go to Mass and I really needed to, uh, to receive the Holy Host every day. Um, after like a year I was very attracted to confession. So I must say that the two pillars that helped me to reach God and to understand the love of God was these two holy sacraments, the Holy Communion, the Eucharist, and the Holy Confession. Uh, after these 10 years, the path has been thorny. It has been very difficult. I have stumbled many, many times in my conversion. It is difficult when you, you meet God, uh, you realize suddenly how small you are. All the doors uh, shrink uh, in a second, and you must pass through the, through those doors with a lot of humbleness, a lot of humility. Um, I changed completely my work because before that I was writing novels who were very strict with the church, very strict and very um, ironic with priesthood. And since that conversion, I changed completely. That is why my second love novel was based on my conversion. Uh, since they, I only want to work for the Lord. Uh, uh, he has given me the gift of writing and I want to use that writing for him and only for him. Thank you and goodbye. Padre e Figlio e Spirito Santo. Dramo Mario, Milos Tipuna, Gospodin Stovon, Blagoslovena Time Giugena Mano.